Hi guys, uh, welcome to this channel. Today we will learn and uh, try to understand what is the relationship between the Bernoulli's distribution and binomial distribution. What is exactly the Bernoulli distribution uh, and binomial distribution? So, what is the Bernoulli distribution? When we consider an experiment of tossing a coin, then we get head or tail. If head turns tends, uh, turns up, then we define x equals to 0 and if uh, tail turns up, then we define x is equals to 0. And from that, we can uh, say that the p is the probability of the head and uh, q is the probability of the and you can define the PMF like that P is the probability like P, P of X is equal to P raised to Q P, Q P raised to X into Q raised to 1 minus X where the, there are only two random variables which is the 0 and 1 so this is the most simple uh, uh, discrete distribution and uh, there are the real life situations like so, since we find it the PMA of the Bernoulli, we try to understand the relation between the Bernoulli and Bionoli. Here, if you take let yi is the uh, independent random variables, and suppose we have one, one of one to two, up to n independent random variables, then the sum of the all the uh, independent random variables is x and if we define the x then uh, here the x is the number of the successes x counts the only number of the successes in the Bernoulli uh, variables uh, where the probability of x is the probability of x successes in the n trials it's the only the probability of x then n minus b x that is the what from the all the n trials if we minus the successes we get the failures all the p is the probability of successes and all the q are the probability of the failures that is n minus x and you can uh, derive it as p to x to q to n minus x then what is the n c x if you know the uh, PMF of the binomial then we get the NCX so what is the NCX is actually the success success occupy in any X places out of N places that is what the all the successes we get are occupy is out of N places that's the reason we get the number of ways is ncx hence our pmf is like that that is the ncx into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x now after all this we have to focus on the applications what are the applications of the binomial distribution first of all uh, we can say that Binomial distribution is easily applied in case of the simple random sampling with replacement. So, and for that one thing, this is to, to <coughs> understand the example of the simple random sampling with replacement, we have to consider a bag containing uh, four red balls and five black balls four red and five bl black balls after that all the balls uh, th three balls are drawn from a bag using simple random sampling with replacement then we have to calculate the probability of the red ball at every every draw probability of red ball remains four by nine and how it is called cal calculated because the red balls are the 4 and total balls are 9 that's the reason the probability of the red ball is 4 by 9 
and also the draws are made independently hence the number of red balls in the sample will follow the binomial distribution with the n is equals to 3 because the 3 balls are drawn hence we have to calculate the uh, probability of the 3 balls and that's the reason this is the example of the binomial distribution with parameter n is equals to 3 and p that is the probability is 4 by 9 this can be one of the application of <coughs> binomial distribution and these are some real life you see uh, real life applications which are the number of the defective n atoms number of the male births in an uh, hospital out of n and the number of uh, recapture fishes in the sample of the n fishes.